My name is Brian Call, and I'm from Oma, and I'm a singer by trade, if you like, uh, for the last, oh, getting on to 20 years now. It's been good to me, the band business, and the thing that keeps me in and there is because I like singing, first and foremost, and I like meeting people, and that's my main interest. Johnny was an old friend of mine, you know. Oh, aye. You know, and so was your father. Yeah, aye, that's your right. Your father, both of them were joiners. That's right. That's right. Uh, well, you're doing, you're, you're looking well anyway. I started off in the Polka Dots band back in 1960 and stayed there for about a year. And I left it for a short time, joined another band called the Platters, who were a very professional band at the time. Uh, were doing a lot more work, but a lot less mileage. And the music scene kept changing. And the rural parts of the country had what I like to call country and western music. Country music is called nowadays. And it was becoming very popular. And of course I had a natural liking for it. So I opted out and formed my own band called the Buckaroos. And we've had a lot of success since then. Well, a working relationship in a band is vital, really, because Without it, you see, it's hurdles all the time. And it never ends, you know, there's jumps and they get higher. But if you've got this basic thing to flying, there's really nothing that you can't achieve in the business. Because if they're all pulling together, it's like a tug of war team. If just one lies down or is not pulling his weight, well, the team's in trouble. Wanna run over these tunes quick, boys? I've got to go to Belfast. The time I, uh, last chance of happiness. I'll run over that again because it's not, it's not right at all. Right. But I have. If you're always looking for the combination of fellas with a nice, even personality that can cope and uh, a fair amount of musical ability. And uh, this is what you're searching and looking for all the time. So I don't think any band has it. Some bands that are very successful today, in fact, I know are not getting on too well, but because they're doing so well financially, they can bear with it, you know. But in the end, it'll break. If you've got the other, you're home and dry, you know. You're my The boys that I'm with at the minute are a good lot. <laughs> I've got a very, very tight band, which is really needed to boost in any type of music. Uh, more so in a country band, funny enough, as a guy that can keep a steady beat from the band kicks off until the band finishes, because the name of the game is dancing. You're the only thing that stands between me and loneliness. You're the only now that I exist, you're my last chance for happiness. You're my last chance for Funny, over the years, the trends have come and went. When I started, of course, the rock and roll thing was very big. 
but country was there and the rock and roll thing faded a bit and then you had the jazz band and they sort of faded away. Then you had the flower period, the Stones, the Beatles and all the time country was getting a knock. The Beatles very nearly done it, had it for six. And it still seemed to come up like the drowning man for the third time. It keeps just keeps bobbing up. Like the cork and water, it's up there all the time, trying. Time we're going on, Brent. 11.45, that's the, is the kick on. As far Clean as I know. Clean patch. Huh? Clean patch. Clean patch, yes. Well, here are those two numbers. We've done those, uh, those two new ones. We'll do them first. Me? To refresh the eye. To refresh the memory, and then we'll do them later. If they're requested. You see that paper, Arnie? Do you <laughs> Oh, no, I'll do it myself. Come on. Ah, <laughs> There's a lot of hours involved. I mean, the working man knocks up something like 40 odd hours a week, where I would do maybe 70 or 80. Again, it's a nice position to be in. I mean, there's a lot of bands only playing two nights a week, and they would like to be playing five nights a week. Stay all night. But well, then do three of your own choice after that. That's a total of four, right? Mm. And then I'll come on for the next set with people. Not ready now, Brian. All right. It's Six days. twelve minutes to, ready to midnight. Right. Okay. Well right. Get Freddie there, Pat. Ready. That's it. That'll do. I'll have another. Uh... Okay. Mhm. Mm all right. One set. Yeah, full set. Four twenty. Right. Okay, Freddie. Yes, it was talk to people and I find it easy to do. For instance, if I was to be in a band and was told that from I go on stage until I leave the ballroom that night that I wasn't to speak to anyone, well, regardless of what I might be getting, I couldn't stay in a band like that. The only problem I found after years at it that I got to know too many people too well. And when you go play in a certain area that they expect that half hour of your time after the dance, and they don't want you sort of moving around, they want to talk, shop. Uh, I found this uh, a problem. But uh, all in all, it's a big additive to be able to pass yourself either in a hotel or in the ballroom or on the street, or if it's only a kid or an old woman or whatever. If a guy can't say hello, he's not a good musician in my eyes. It's as simple as that. We continue dancing this time with a quick step. We start off with a number, a title track of an LP, our last bound play record. A number called Country Fine. Trends come and go, but country music or something really stable with a really good lyric and a good melody will have longer lasting ability than a lot of the quickish synthetic stuff, which I think a lot of it's uh, counterproductive. It doesn't bring any deep happiness or understand. The noise level, I think, is the first thing that's against a lot of today's music. It's much, much too loud. For what reason, I've never got it logically explained to me. 
time the kids come up to me often and they say your man's not allowed enough. They ask them why and they don't give me any reason, they just want it louder. To the bystander or to the pattern that might come to a dance, it's you're up there, you're dressed, and your picture appears in the paper or you're on a record sleeve or whatever, and they see it like it's glamorous, and there's a nice side to it. But it's not that great a life. I do something like 60,000 miles a year on the road, and uh, it's really hard, especially winter months. When you go to play a couple of hundred miles, you try always to tie in a long run with another dance state. The more popular are, the more easy that is to do. And again, you have more surplus of money, and you can stay in better hotels, and so on. And we are in a fair good position, and I've enjoyed a fair amount of that type of comfort. But there's been a lot of more years, lean years, when there was nothing. Only a fish and chip, or a bottle of Coke and a bag of crisps. Hard times. What time was Walk over at? There's talk, Martin, that it'll be Francis who's the band for us. We get packed up pretty quick, we should be home at what, five or six? The way I figured, Ernie, if we start playing at two, and we play the numbers very fast, it's nice, Ernie. <laughs> That'll be all right if we can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> 